Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. On the ETH chart, we have a very, very uneventful day. So the market continues to grind sideways, just sort of between the 100% Fibonacci extension there, which now seems to be acting as a little bit of support and the 1.236 extension, which is the minimum target for Circle Wave 3 here. We haven't even reached Circle Wave 3 yet at ideal target or minimum target yet. As I mentioned in the last update, um, a few dollars were missing, a few dollars. I think it's just sort of here, I don't know, eight dollars or something. Yeah, but OK, I mean, I would still accept it as potentially a wave three if you twist my arm. Um, but it's still not really reached the minimum that I would like to see. OK, so maybe it gives us another high sometimes. I mean, assuming maybe wave three finished. Yeah, and maybe wave four, four has started, then sometimes yeah, when these Fibonacci levels aren't reached, sometimes an overshooting B wave gets there. That we've seen that many, many times. So just want to highlight this is a possibility. It's also possible that we haven't even completed the third wave so that we get one more high here in wave five, which would actually be great because then at least um, then at least we could look at um, the ideal target or the minimum. So we have it has it hasn't really reached my minimum target. That's the problem. So just eight dollars short. Yeah, maybe I didn't I didn't check other exchanges. You know, maybe on other exchanges it looks different. But two thousand five thirty is normally what I like to see in the third wave. Uh, well, the one point two three six extension, right? And better would be um, the one point three eight at two thousand five hundred sixty six. But let's see. I mean, ultimately, all I can do at this stage is to highlight that, yeah, OK, the structure could be complete in wave three, nearly complete. Looking at the big picture, obviously, we have five waves up there. Um, but let's see. I mean, one more. I wouldn't I wouldn't rule out one more high in this uh, third wave and then the fourth wave maybe afterwards and another high that would be also pretty much in line with Bitcoin. So I'm not sure if this wave degree has started yet, wave four. I can only share with you at the moment what the main support level is and that should be enough because that tells you when the uptrend okay is likely going to break and at the moment we seem to be at the top of a trend channel and you could easily see it at some point come down to the lower end of the price channel again and when that happens i will use the ascending trend line as support as well as the fibonacci support levels which start at 2,454 and then 2,411 and then 2,378 and 2,344. They are all relevant um, support levels yeah, in a wave four. And then obviously one more high in wave five could play out afterwards. yeah. But I will also use this ascending trend line. Obviously a break out of the channel is never good. That will already indicate weakness, but it will be confirmed below 2,344, that we're not dealing with a five wave pattern to the upside, that it failed after three waves. That always makes trading on the long side very risky. It means that, mm, okay, could this be a B wave top? Possibly, which would already yeah, get initially confirmed below 2,344. But then if we even see a break below the last swing low at 2,268, which is here, this swing low, yeah? then um, this would be further confirmed. And I'm watching for a C wave to the downside then. But as I said before, um, I'm leaning bullish as long as we are above support. I give it the benefit of the doubt, uh, but I can only highlight the risk at the moment. I think the risk for a high B wave is still very present, okay? If you have watched altcoin videos that I've made, the risk of another low is highly likely. Bitcoin, for example, the risk for pulling back into the support zone in yellow that we have defined on the Bitcoin chart that risk is very high. Some people might see it as an opportunity. If someone entered in that zone recently, took profits in this current region, then that person will be excited about a possible drop. So I can only highlight it would give us um, another an, another move down would give us the opportunity to buy lower in a bullish market. It would not necessarily break bullish structures. I think most altcoins still have plenty of space in their support regions. Also Bitcoin, also Ethereum, as you can see, the main bullish support region, I mean, we talk about the orange micro support, but the green support region is relevant for the daily time frame and this larger degree scenario that we are in a wave two. Um, and uh, this goes down to 1677. So there's still plenty of space. 
Yeah, but let's see. Uh, I think the, the weekend will be quiet, but uh, one more high actually would be ideal in wave five of three. We'll see if that uh, happens, but maybe not before Monday. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.